Hey everybody, welcome back to the Natick. I'm going to get started on my first big biface in the new space here. This is a large percussion blade. You can see the big bulb of percussion here. A black obsidian. And today I'm going to use it to make a white walker killer. A dragon glass knife inspired by Game of Thrones, one of my favorite series ever. I don't see a lot of opportunities to take big spalling flakes off of this thing, but I can at least get one from the proximal end to get rid of that bulb. And then really I need to focus on the dorsal face, getting that right. It's pretty irregular right now. There's still a bit of traffic noise. I've got the windows on and the fan going, so hopefully that's not too distracting. just fixing up the sharp edges here so they don't cut me later just strengthening them a little for now Whoops. Camera shy. Let's just go ahead and try that again. Not a very fortuitous start here. It'll get better.
You don't necessarily need a bigger hammer stone. I should have known better. There was also a bit of a Hertzian cone in there from the original blade removal. that I also should have known I needed to get rid of. Some more of that cone just popped out of there and also took the exact flake I wanted as well. Beauty. Okay, so after taking this flake off, I see another opportunity to set up a platform here and take a big, big flake off this way. But because it's already hinged here, I run the risk of hinging it even worse. So I should come back from the other side first. I already have a continuous platform set up to go this way along most of this edge. Just a little bit here. I'll take a bunch of flakes off to meet this and hopefully take out the rest of that big hinge right there and then I'll come back across this way.
looks like there's a bit of a crack running through the piece right there. So I cut off most of that hinge I was talking about earlier with that last flake there.
I should probably sort this end out before doing anything else. I think I need to come in from this side now.
Sorry about that, was out of frame a little, I think. Got that nice and flat here now. I can just focus on getting this face right. thought about that one too much, I just need to go for it. That's better.
I still have to deal with this crack in the proximal end here. It's not too deep. I'll probably lose about a centimeter on the end. That's okay.
got more or less continuous platforms set up on both edges now. I can really focus on thinning down this big bulge in the middle here, flattening everything out. I have a good amount of width left still. I'd like to keep as much of the length as possible. And I think, well, I still have some of that crack left there. I'll lose a little bit, but that's okay. Still a pretty nice knife. That platform lipped on me, even with a hammer stone that happens sometimes. Okay, so I have this portion of the platform set up real heavy all along here. I'll be abrading as I go, but the aim will be to take a series of large flakes to finally thin down this really thick part.
That's the first one. Came all the way over to right here. Feathered out nicely. You always need to put some blending flakes in there. Bit of a misfire there, but that still came up here. Long little blade. Too much. That's probably a little too heavily set up there. Definitely don't want to keep hitting that if it's not going to go. A little bit of isolating. Yeah, something released a little earlier when I Smacked it way too hard there. Wow. Well, that was unexpected. The tiniest little platform on that. Just followed that mass. Just took it all out of there. Hopefully that's not too thin there. I think I might be okay. Need to be careful with the rest of it though. Drop that one right in my shoe.
That was better than I could have hoped for. It's starting to look like it would kill a white walker.
show us too much. A little bit. Well, that's coming along. I got a couple little spots here where I need to be careful. This big step right there. But I think I can get past that. <laughs> 